All right, this is gonna be the first recipe for Spam Timber. We're gonna make Spam Salty Nugs. I'm gonna start off with hot and spicy Spam. We're gonna use a little uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. And then we're gonna use these. These are, uh, let's see, double cut out set. Now, since I'm making a salty nug, I need to be able to cut this into nugget shapes. And I want to be consistent. It needs to look like a preformed nugget. So I got these, and we're going to take one of these ovals and make it so it works good for nuggets. Now the first thing to do is kind of determine the right nugget size. Probably gonna want to want this one here. I don't can't imagine what I would use that for. Just get all these out of the way. Get this out of the way. Okay, so to make this a nugget shape, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna bend and tweak this a little bit. I've got my handy Leatherman here. Get this a little bend in. What we want to do is make it about the shape of a of a chicken nugget, right? Maybe a little kidney bean. Maybe that's a little too much kidney bean. Some of this you can easily do by hand. All right, that's not bad, right? Kind of looks like a nugget. Maybe flatten that out a little bit more. Perfect. Now I'll clean this up. So while I've gotten this ready and I'm getting the spam ready, I have some oil in a pan going on my gas one stove. You can use any kind of oil you want. Now the easiest way to get spam out, give it a couple pushes. Look at that just comes right out easy easy now you want to cut this about the thickness that you want your nugget to be so and what is that a little over a quarter inch maybe looks like I'll get three slices out of this once you've got that done then you just start cutting out nuggets and I make sure I use as much of this spam as I can. I don't want to waste any. Look at that. Spam nugget. And you can kind of get some of these little remnant pieces. Those cut off as well. And then while you're making these, you can always just take the spam. Mmm. Well, that's not bad. I've never had the hot and spicy before. Pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and put all the nuggets in a bowl here. So one can of Spam looks about 12 salty nugs. Whoops, 13, almost forgot that one. All right, so I've got my nuggetized Spam and I've got my tongs. My oil is all heated up. And let's see. We just drop our Spam nuggets right in there. We've got a bowl over here with a paper towel so I can pull out my nuggets when they're done. Mm. 
I'm gonna let it sit in there for maybe about maybe about a minute. You want to make sure they've got a nice crust on them. They're looking pretty good. Let's sit for a little bit longer. You don't want to leave them in there too long. You don't want them to get burnt. Oh, those are perfect. So in this little pot, I can only fit about four, maybe five. With this gas one stove, you gotta keep the flame pretty low on this. And if you do these in a small enough batch, you can, uh, you know, they're done when they start floating near the top. These are all really close here. batch. There was one hiding down in there. So you want to let these cook to where you can kind of see them get a little golden brown on the outside there. Last one here. Look at that. Perfect. So now that we've got that done, get some of the oil off these. Do my trusty paper towel here. And then we can put them into a container such as this. So now we have our salty nugs ready to be spiced up with a little red hot. And I know some places you can go, you can get like a double dip wing or char buff, I think is what they call them around here. And that's usually a wing where they've added the sauce to it and then they dip it in again into the fryer. Oh, that's some spicy sauce. So we'll just liberally give that a bunch of sauce. We'll grab a couple of spoons here. Toss that around in the hot sauce. Make sure they're completely covered. And then I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to put them back in the fry pan. Give them a little extra coat. And I'll keep these ones that I'm doing this with separately. So I can do a little taste comparison. I'm going to do five of those. One thing you can't forget when you're doing wings, a little ranch dressing, or blue cheese, whichever you prefer.
want to lose count of how many you have in there. I can't see him in there, but I know he's in there. There it is. Now let's go ahead and turn that off to let it cool. And we're done. Let me get a fork out here. These are the ones that I uh, I char buffed, so put them in the sauce, dipped them, put them back in the fryer. Oh, it looks pretty good. A little ranch dressing on there. Those have a really good flavor. Mm. This is that hot and spicy Spam. Let's try one of these. It just has sauce on it. Mmm, that's good as well. I think I prefer these that have been dipped in sauce and then put back in the fryer. They're crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Mmm, just the perfect amount of that red hot wing sauce from Frank's. Oh, happy spam timber, everybody. Yeah, this is going to be my lunch. Thanks everybody for watching. Look forward to doing some more spam recipes coming up here for spam timber. This is a this is a good one. I'm going to have to do this some night when I have friends over. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.